the giver of life and power to whom he wishes, at the time he wishes. And I thank you for maintaining peace and order during the just concluded 90 senatorial by elections, held on 30th August 2014 and concluded on 6th September 2014, following the supplementary by election in some polling units across six local government areas of the zone. We thank all those who came out to vote for our party, People's Democratic Party, to ensure our victory at the polls. We thank you for your abiding faith in our party and for coming out to exercise your civic duty and responsibility, even in the face of unwarranted provocation and intimidation by some members of the opposition parties who mistook elite sentiments and sympathy for mass support. Electoral victories are not won by violent intimidation of the electorate, but by record of performance and effective mobilization of voters on the polling day. We thank Mr. President, Dr. Goodluck Ebele Doriton, GCFR, for his interest in our affairs, his concern and encouragement, and especially for his acceptance of our consensus candidate. We are delighted that the National Working Committee, NWC, and the Board of Trustees of our party also emulated Mr. President, not only by paying us solidarity visits to encourage us, but also by refusing to interfere in our local political situation. Because we all understand that each constituency has, it has its peculiarities, dynamics, and political undercurrents. The overall interest of our party will be better served if party members remain disciplined and put the party above all other personal interests. Let me also thank all the loyal party members who work tirelessly to mobilize the electorates to do what they have always done for PDP, voting for us to win elections. My special appreciation goes to the most loyal party members who have faithfully and honestly been with the party, unlike those who either sit on the fence or who rush to Abuja to, Abu to malign us, who often see the party as their property or investment and must use it for their selfish ends. And where they cannot get their ways, they try to frustrate all efforts of our party. As a party, we have learned some hard lessons from the election, and we assure Nigelites that we will rededicate ourselves to the service of the electorates in line with the principles of servant leadership. We shall ensure that our senator elect throws his weight behind all legislative issues that were pursued by the deceased senator in the interest of the development of Niger State and Nigeria as a whole. We ask the defeated candidates and those who participated under APC, uh, APCA, and SDP to accept the results in good faith in the spirit of gallant effort they put into the electioneering process. As we assure them, we will remain humble in the face of victory as a party. Let me call on all Nigerians to remain very vigilant as we enter a new phase of national political activities ahead of 2015 elections. Niger State is the only state we have, and it is greater than any individual or political party. The interests of the state must therefore come first in all consideration, and its survival and prosperity must be above any personal interest. We must resist any overt or covert attempt by any individual or group to destabilize our state. Finally, we believe that you deserve not only the appreciation of a, great, a grateful party, PDP, but also our enduring commitment to serve you better, to sustain your confidence and support for our party in subsequent elections. Once more, I thank you for maintaining peace and being law abiding during the senatorial by election process. Thank you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to bless us and bless Niger State. Amen. The, the subsidy to the farmers at the 